In today's episode of How to Grow from Chunk, we'll be looking at the philodendron El Chaco Red, and I'll be showing you some tips and tricks that's gonna help you propagate them at home. Before we move on, please give me a big thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel down below. I'll really, really appreciate it. So, have you ever bought a chunk that is half or a quarter of the price of a food plant, but you have it for months and it's not doing anything? Well, today I'm gonna show you how we can go from this to this in just four weeks. Here I have with me a thick and healthy philodendron El Chaco Red chunk. As you can see, it has no roots and also it has no growth on any of the surfaces. Here I have another El Chaco Red specimen. With my method, I was able to achieve results in just two weeks with this chunk giving me two different growth points. The white substance around the growth is actually leftover clone paste, which is part of my method that's gonna help you revive your chunk. And this is hopefully what you'll get after four weeks of wait. As you can see, there are multiple growth points coming out from this chunk. And the top parts even have young leaves that are unfurling already. And now let's get started. First off, I'd like to go over the anatomy of a chunk with you. With a better understanding of what you're working with, you have a higher chance of success and also a lower chance of permanently damaging your plant. The lines I try to demarcate here indicates the node on the chunk. For this particular chunk, there are multiple nodes on it. Next, the flat surface that I'm running my thumb over is actually where an old leaf used to be. When an old leaf dies, the plant actually has a second chance to grow a new leaf and it can do that by activating its axillary bud that is on the opposite side of where the old leaf used to be. So what I'm gonna do here is expose the axillary bud that is semi-hidden by the protective dead skin on the chunk. You wanna be very careful when you're doing this. So I'll suggest that you scrape around the bud instead of on the bud. As you can see here, I'm feeling the bud with my thumb and then I'm scraping around it instead of on top of it to prevent damaging it accidentally. Now we're done with the first note, we're looking for the second one. Here right below the axillary bud is where a old leaf used to be, this flat part. And right opposite is where the second axillary bud can be found. Again, I'm scraping around the axillary bud as carefully as I can and you always want to run your thumb over and over again so that you know where exactly the axillary bud is. Moving on to our third node, here I found where the old leaf is, this flat part and the axillary bud is going to be opposite this part. And you may notice already, for every node, there will be one part where the old leaf is and one axillary bud. This node's axillary bud is actually quite hard to find, but after some patient digging, I finally found it. Right here. Now going downwards, for the next node I found, where the old leaf used to be this flat part over here and so I know that the only axillary bud will be on the opposite side. I see this beautiful tiny protrusion and so I'm gonna dig around it. For this axillary bud, I feel that the skin on top of it is not too tough and so I took the courage and scraped them off as well. So you can see here, I've almost fully exposed the tiny protrusion that is the axillary bud. So far, we've uncovered four axillary bud already, and now here is one last one to do. I found where the old leaf used to be, I go to the other side to find the axillary bud, and I start to scrape. Not all axillary buds are the same, some are easier to find and some are less protruded and so you really have to be patient and use your thumb to feel where it might be. 
Now that we're done, the next part is to apply the chrome paste on the auxiliary buds. This cytokining paste is my try and test it. If you have tried it before and it didn't work for you, perhaps it's because you did not follow the instructions at the back. So as per the instructions, we have scraped the auxiliary bud and exposed it and now we're ready to put on the paste. Here's how the vial of paste look like. It is a sticky green gel. So here's a good scoop and I'm gonna apply this all over the chunk targeting the exposed auxiliary buds. And we are done. The next part is to put the chunk in its container. For me, I love to use a clear container with Leica so that whenever a root or growth is coming out, I'll be the first to see it. It is extremely crucial that you give your chunk a high humidity environment so that it does not dry out and the axillary buds are encouraged to grow. Last but not least, add some nutritious water to the container. You don't have to fill it up all the way, just a quarter or a third of the container is enough. If you want to, you can add more Leica. This Leica is going to help to keep the humidity high around the chunk and this is going to really encourage it to grow fast. And after two weeks, you should see some growth coming out from the chunk, just like this one I have over here. And give it two more weeks, you should see some leaves unfurling from those growths. And here is one more philodendron El Chaco red chunk that we can prepare together. I have just one more very important tip that I need you to follow, so if you want to skip this part, please fast forward to the last part of this video. Now let's get back to this chunk. I found where the old leaf used to be and also the axillary bud that is quite visible here in green. Now let's get to work. As I said before, some axillary buds are easier to find and this is certainly one. As you can see here, I'm running my thumb along the surface to find any protrusion that might be the axillary bud. I think I found it and so I start to scrape around it. Here's the close-up of the protrusion that I was trying to feel with my thumb. With my index finger, I feel this flat part where a old leaf used to be and I can see that the axillary bud is this small tiny dot that is on the opposite side. If you're interested in the tool that I'm using, you can go down to the description box down below and I'll have a link right there. Right below the axillary bud is another part where a old leaf used to be. I know to turn to the other side where I should find a axillary bud. So I feel it with my thumb. Very, very tiny protrusion right here. Almost unnoticeable. So if you don't feel it with your thumb first, you might actually scrape it accidentally and permanently damaging it. Like the last chunk, this one also have a total of five notes. And so we have one last axillary bud to dig for. And here we have it. This one is all cleaned up and ready for the clone paste application. For the clone paste, a little goes a long way and so you really don't need too much. Just a thin layer on the surface of the chunk is enough. Now that we're done, we're gonna put it in the container just like the other chunk. Again, I'm using Leica because Leica is a great medium for keeping humidity high. Last step is to add some nutritionist water and you are done. One last question you might have is where do I keep my propagations? Well, I have my prop box. It is kept at 100% humidity, which I think is crucial for these chunks to thrive. If you do not have a prop box, you can also use Ziploc bags, which will be able to keep the humidity high. Last but not least, you can air your chunks once a day or once every two to three days. 
And that's all I have for you guys today. Thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Nigel, and if you have any questions, do write them down in the comment section down below, or you can tell me what other videos I should do in the future. Adios!